Hello, welcome back to Crochet at My House. This is my travel crochet and knit tag. If you don't have a channel and you want to join in, feel free to answer in the comments. Otherwise, if you do have a channel, consider yourself tagged. I will be tagging people at the end, so there will be some specifically tagged, but it would be nice if you joined in. So it's to do with travelling, all travelling, whether you're going abroad somewhere and you're going on a plane, or you're just, you know, going in your car and going on a road trip or something. Whatever. That's what it's about. So, do you take your projects with you? I do, but I wouldn't take anything that required too much focus. Do you crochet or knit in the car? I don't because I get travel sick, but I have heard of some people who do. What hooks or needles do you take with you? Uh, I have some hooks that I really like, um, so I wouldn't take those ones just in case they got damaged or lost or whatever. And so I have these kinds of hooks. These ergonomic ones, I will take my ergonomics and things with me if I'm going to be travelling but not too far, like if I went to the crochet pub in my town or I went to a meet up somewhere in one of the other places. I would do that, but it kind of depends. What projects do you prefer to take with you? Big or small? Now this, I, I kind of take both. Bigger projects I will only take with me if I'm not really going to be doing anything. For example, I've been along to meets sometimes that are more for my sister and I will just really be sitting not doing very much so taking a project that's bigger sometimes that I wouldn't normally would work but if I'm going somewhere and I maybe I'm traveling a lot or I don't necessarily have lots of time I would prefer a smaller project like a hat Maybe some socks, a shawl, something not too big. Is there anywhere you wouldn't crochet or knit? Um, anywhere wet. I wouldn't crochet where it was going to be knitting the project wet. So if it was raining and I was out at the park or something, I wouldn't crochet. Or if I was right down by the water at the beach, I wouldn't crochet down there. What is your favourite place to crochet on it? My favourite place would be the park. It's nice if it's sunny and warm and I could just sit on the grass somewhere. That's one of my favourite places. Do you have a bag you like to use for your projects when you travel? Now, it depends on where you're travelling. Um, say you're just popping to a friend's house you might just take a tote bag, slung it over your shoulder. If you're going somewhere and you want to be really organised and you're, you're showing projects and working projects, I sometimes like this sort of bag for that because I can organise things and make it easy to access. And if I'm travelling and I'm going a long way and I'm trying not to carry too much, I might take this kind of a bag, it's not huge, and I could just squash it into my backpack or whatever. Um, yeah. Do you like to take a paper copy or one on a tablet or phone? Uh, in, on a device, basically. Um, I like to take solid paper copies. This obviously is a book, but if it was a print off, that would work as well. I like taking a physical thing because if you're using your phone or your tablet, whatever, 
if it runs out of power or where you are is too bright, you can't access it. Would you or have you taken crochet hooks or needles on a plane? Now I haven't been on a plane, so I haven't technically done it, but I think if I did, I would take something like this. They're pretty inexpensive kinds of hooks. They're just plastic. Um, they're not going to like hurt anyone if I take this with me and like I could put this in my pencil case and plus I'm not worried if this gets lost or stolen or anything but I wouldn't take one of my nicer ergonomics because I wouldn't really want to lose it. Where is the weirdest place you have ever crocheted or knit on your travels? I think the most odd place I've ever crocheted would be on a bench next to a river when it was freezing cold. Wouldn't recommend doing that, but I have done it. I am tagging Froggy Went and Knitting, OM Granny Square. Coping with yarn, Christine Gearings, Linda Simpson, Dana's Wanderlust Crochet, and Crafts by B. Rose. So, remember, if you want to join in and you don't have a channel, you can comment down below your answers. Um, and if you comment, like, subscribe, and ring the bell if you want to get notifications every time I put up a video.